In this clip, we're going to watch Melissa introduce a new piece of text, a new poem to uh, her first grader, Jackson. And whether you're a teacher or a parent um, teaching at home, uh, watch her teacher moves as she introduces this unfamiliar text to Jackson in a way that engages him and uh, doesn't intimidate him. Exactly. She asks way more questions right. than she gives answers while she's doing this, which is which is a really good uh, metric to use uh, when you're working and with see, kids. Right. And see how his fluency increases through practice and rehearsal and how he doesn't hesitate to do it because it, the poem is fun. And it's short. So it's doable. So right. let's take a look at Melissa and Jackson. Let's go, guys. All right, so I just gave you a new poem. Mm -hmm. Have you read this poem before? I've never read this poem before. Okay, so can you read the title for me? Laundry Day. Okay, who is it by? By Michael Salinger. Salinger, closely. Salinger. Okay, that's close, good. Okay, so what do you think this poem's about? Laundry. <laughs> that's pretty easy because the title gave it away, huh? What do you know all the words in this? Do you even know? Um, you're kind of skimming it to see. Might there be some new words in here? Yeah, I see words that I don't even know. How. Okay, let's try it and then I'm going to help you through it. Okay, so. All right, this is your first read. Okay. Long today by Michael Salinger. Snaps, buttons, zipper, buckle. Penny's cord is done. Sometimes even little, little rocks for getting in my pockets. Bounce and scrapes and slide and dryers thumping right soon. This word right here is rhythm. R-H-Y-T-H-M, rhythm. The dryers thumping rhythm plays back. Back up to humming. Hum ming. Humming. Uh -huh. Washes to the. <laughs> it's a hard word. The word is sudsy. Do you know what sudsy means? No. If you are in the bathtub and you have a whole bunch of bubbles. That's sudsy. It's suds. You're making suds, yeah. So that's sudsy song. Sun because song. what do you think happens in a washer? The it makes noise. And has suds, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the poem now. You've read it once. Do you know yes. it really well yet? No. No. Something that this poem has, turn it around, and I want you to see what comes right after the word snaps. What do you see right here? A do you remember comma. What? A comma. When you are reading a poem, a comma tells you to take a short pause. So instead of reading it like this, Snaps, buttons, zippers, buckles. You're going to slow it down a little bit. And how would you read it if you were taking a little break with the commas? Snaps, buttons, zippers, buckles, pennies, quarters, dimes, sometimes little rocks. Okay. Do you see how when you take a little bit of a pause, it gives you time to have expression for those words? Yeah. Okay. Um, most poems have rhythm. It means like they have a flow to them. Mm -hmm. So show me the, where the word rhythm is on here because that was kind of a hard word. Okay, you found the word rhythm. How's rhythm spelled? R Y. You can go ahead and read it from the page. I try not to. R Y. R Y T H M. Mm, you missed a letter. Try it again. R, R H Y T H M. Yeah, it has two H's in it. It's kind of a strange word, isn't it? Rhythm. Okay, so the whole thing is about a washer and a dryer. And a washer and dryer, when you hear them going, yep, there's a picture of it, huh? It, sometimes you can hear ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Mm -hmm. So they make a rhythm. So this time when we read it, I want you to read it with kind of rhythm, slow it down a little bit, and some expression. Okay, okay? this time with expression. Yeah, are you ready? Okay. Laundry Day by Michael Salinger. Snaps. Buttons, zippers, buckles, pennies, quarters, dimes, sometimes little rocks for getting in my pocket. Bounce and scrape and slide. The dryer's dumping rhythm 
plays back up to the humming washer's sudsy song. Sudsy? Sudsy song. Good. And there's one more word I'm going to say right here. This word right here Sometimes. is forgotten. Say forgotten. 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 Okay. We're going to practice it a couple more times, and then we're going to take a video of the final okay. one. Okay. Yeah. And you've practiced it maybe okay. six or seven times now? Six or five. Yeah. Six, six or five. five. Okay. Or seven. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now you've had a chance to practice it. I heard you practicing with expression when I was walking around the house. So I want to see how you do. You're ready to perform it. Okay. Remember to start with the title and the author. Go. Laundry Day by Michael Salinger. Snaps, buttons, zippers, buckles, pennies, quarters, dimes. Sometimes little rocks forgotten in my pockets. Bounce scrapes, slide. The dryer's thumping rhythm please back up to the humming washer sudsy song. How did you feel performing that? That felt good. Why? What felt good about it? It felt good that I could do something new. Something new? Okay. And now you're you're a pretty good reader, would you say? Yeah. But, but I don't know every word in the world. That's true. Because you know more than I do. Well, maybe. For now. So, you learned that poem in about 10 minutes, right? Yeah, a couple more than that. Like about... about 12 minutes? Yeah. Okay. How does it feel when you perform a poem and you do a good job? It feels like I just performed something and I'm proud of it. Yeah, you did a great job. High five. Nice job.